Today I have the first ever brand new subscription box. So you've seen me on this channel do lots of BAM boxes, the BAM pop culture and the BAM horror box. The pop culture box is now called the geek box, I think is what they're calling it, or the BAM, BAM geek or something. But this is the first ever BAM gamer box. And you say, you know what, Clint, you're not really a gamer. No, I'm really not. Only games I really play are Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Madden. But on this YouTube channel, I do lots of subscription boxes and mystery boxes. So even if I don't really know all of what the contents are, I still buy the boxes, review them on this channel, because sometimes it's almost better to hear a review from somebody who has no idea what the contents are because I look like an idiot sometimes, but that's okay. Here we go. So the BAM Gamer box, I think this was like $30 a month plus shipping. It's a monthly box. And I think how BAM's doing it now, they're doing like, what is it, 200 boxes a month or 2,000 boxes? There's like a two in there somewhere. And once the subscriptions are filled up, they're sold out. And then you have to kind of like go into a waiting list for the next available slot as your number comes up. But whenever I heard that these were going to be made, I went ahead immediately and started my subscription to, to this box. Because this first one, they even said, has a guaranteed autograph Funko Pop in it that's authenticated by Beckett. Beckett is one of the big three authentication companies in the country. JSA, PSA, and Beckett, my personal favorite, is JSA. Uh, but Beckett also is a very fine company. They've been around for a few decades. And they originally were in like sports cards and then comics. And then they went into, uh, or the comics because they bought CBCS out. And they're very well known for autograph authentication. So I think it's kind of cool that Bandbox is now partnering up with Beckett. Right here on top, we have, sweet, my box has a level up, which means one item in this box is going to be a limited edition variant. It actually says, one of the items in your box is a variant. That means there are fewer made than the regular item. Please check your insert to see which one you got. This is box number one gamer box. So the level up could be like the pin, could be a rare one, the art print, or the autograph. So I would love it if my Funko Pop was like the variant with like a quote or something. Who knows? We got paper on top to hide the contents. Let's see, right here we have, looks like a, uh, oh, we have a little scratch off card. We have a trading card, a sketch trading card. It is, a, oh, cool, Batman. That's awesome looking. Gotta like that. It says, Bam Gamer. There's the back on it. Show it to you, did I? Bam Gamer, artist select card. Congratulations. This is an authentic Bam fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. Collect both cards to make the set by artist Jason Miller. Mine's numbered 1,310 out of 2,500 made of Batman. So I'm guessing the other one's going to be Joker, obviously. Scratch off card. Here we go. I've actually have, I don't want to look inside this box, I almost peeked. The pop's wrapped up, but you can't actually see the pop. I've actually talked to a few people who have actually won on the scratch off card. I've met a few, or have talked to a few people who have won uh, art prints, and I've talked to somebody who actually won a free band box. So people are slowly starting to win on these scratch off cards. You got to match three symbols in order to win. Carefully scratch. Let me get a dollar knife. A little bit of a dollar one that needs sharpened. So the first spot is a BAM big box. So I have to match that in all three spots. Uh oh. Spot number two actually says free BAM big box. <laughs> Did I just win a free BAM big box? Dang. I thought I actually, I have never matched two symbols before in this card. My last one is a celebrity sign autograph. Dang it, I thought I actually just won a BAM big box. 
That was the closest I've ever been to winning, but I didn't win. Oh well, back to the box. <laughs> Someday maybe I'll win something on that. Okay, here we have, looks like this must be the prop replica right here. This thing that feels pretty heavy. We have, it's like a shield. I don't know what game that's for. Like I said, I'm not really what you call a gamer. I pretty much play three kind of franchises, Madden, Call of Duty, and Battlefield. I don't know what that game that's from, but it's actually kind of nice. It's kind of heavy. The bag has, has like, a, has like a, a loop on it. You can loop it on something. I'm sure this is probably just some very popular game that somebody has like on their you know, chest plate or something. Go back in, here we go. Month, here's a monthly pin. This says, oh, this pin has limited release of 250 numbers on the back of the pin. We have, oh, fine one, Bob. This is, uh, what's the name? King Hippo from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Pretty sure that's what his name, right? King Hippo, I think is what they, they called him. Back when I was a kid though, like in the 80s, I was a gamer. Back in the 80s, we had a ColecoVision and then we had a Nintendo finally. And I played a lot of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. The code to Mike Tyson, 007-373-5963. I used that code thousands of times when I was a kid. It's locked away in here for the rest of my life. The code to Mike Tyson's, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, 007-373-5963, straight to Mike Tyson. <laughs> it's kind of like the my some of my geek kind of knowledge I have. Locked away, the code to Mike Tyson. I will never forget it. Here we go. Oh, that's that's the cheat sheet. Don't want to see that yet. Here's the art print. Show you first. This is um, um, God of War. This is um, Kratos, numbered 2,138 out of 2,200. So this is not an upgrade. So that pin is either the upgrade or the pop is the upgrade. Fingers crossed the pop's the upgrade. Fingers crossed. It's actually a cool art print though. You got God of War. It's actually awesome art print. Signed by the artist. This says this fan art print from our fan art collection is exclusive to Bandbox and has been hand signed by the artist. It's guaranteed to be authentic. This oh the uh doesn't tell who the artist is though. Okay. One thing left. That's all we got. The autograph Funko Pop. Inside the box, it is empty. I have no clue what franchise this thing's gonna be from. Like, honestly, I won't be shocked if it's like a Fortnite signed pop because Fortnite has a lot of pops. And it could be some voice actor on Fortnite. I, I won't be shocked if it's a Fortnite pop. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just making, I'm just making an estimated guess. Let's find out, who is it? Okay, this is the top right here. Nope, that's the bottom. Try not to look. That's the front, that's the back, that's the top. Here we go. Oh, that's, it is not a Fortnite pop. Looks like we do have like a quote here. So this is probably gonna be my, my upgrade it looks like. And here's the Beckett authentication card. Here's the, the Beckett number, which should match the card. Number nine, seven, yep, it matches it. So this will be the voice actor of Crash Bandicoot. Volume five, box number one. This is BAM's first release of the Gamer Box. The first 250 BAMers will receive a limited edition coin, while the first 1,000 BAMers will receive one or, or the other of a mashup print of Master Chief and Nathan Drake. I didn't get either. And I bought mine almost immediately when it went on sale. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't get either. Okay. I didn't get one of the freebies, which is fine. Autograph Funko. We are proud to present you Crash Bandicoot Funko Pop signed by Brendan O'Brien, the original voice of Crash Bandicoot. Be on the lookout for variant Funko Pops. It's not a variant, is it? No. Brennan O'Brien. looks like it says Brennan O'Brien, so I guess my pin must be my upgrade then, after all. So fan art print, it depicts Kratos and his son in this God of War fan art print. Fan art pin, yep. 
Jab, Jab, Hook, artist Brian Romero features 1997 Punch Out, and these pins are a knockout. Keep an eye out for the other two variant pins. You can either get King Hippo or Mike Tyson. I got King Hippo. So this will be numbered out of 250 on the back of the pin. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Mine's numbered 155 out of 200, so that is the variant pin. Um, all in all, this box for, for the value is actually pretty good value box. I'm, I'm pleased with it. Uh, will I keep much from this box? Honestly, I'll probably sell everything. Um, I don't keep the like the art prints anymore. This Funko Pop, I have no idea who Brennan O'Brien is, and uh, I don't. I do collect autographs, but I don't collect all autographs, especially when somebody I have no idea who it is. And I, and I never played Crash, so I'll sell the pop. I'll sell the pin. Actually, everything will be for sale.